pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. In this next video example, Michael Talbot, author of The Holographic Universe, speaks about a man who can manifest things from thin air with his hands. This is real magic. Video example, materializing things out of thin air. What is this video about? For best results. Pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. In this video example, Michael tells a couple of stories that are relevant to our topic of magic, illusions, and belief. One is a story that he also told in his book, The Holographic Universe. I will quote his personal story here. He had many experiences with ghostly poltergeist type activities. This incident happened in 1976. Quote, On a few occasions, however, I did see objects actually materialize. For example, in 1976 I was working in my study when I happened to look up and see a small brown object appear suddenly in midair just a few inches below the ceiling. As soon as it popped into existence, it zoomed down at a sharp angle and landed at my feet. When I picked it up, I saw that it was a piece of brown drift glass that originally might have been used in making beer bottles. The other big story is of a man named Sai Baba, a 64-year-old Indian holy man living in southern India. He can materialize sacred ash by the buckets as well as hot foods, sweets, and even gold trinkets. Erlinder Haraldsson of the University of Iceland studied this man for over 10 years and published his report in his book. In one story that Michael relates, Haraldson was in a discussion with Sai Baba when Sai Baba told Haraldson that daily life and spiritual life should grow together like a double rubraksha. Haraldson had no idea what that was and insisted on knowing. Sai Baba was unable to fully explain what it was, so he closed his papers and opened them again, and in the middle was a double rubraksha, which was like a double acorn. It came from nowhere. Carlton asked if he could have it, and Sai Baba said yes, but let me have it first. He enclosed it again in the paper he was holding, and opened it again, and the double Rudraksha was now clad in gold with a gold chain on it. Carlton could hardly believe his eyes. How could someone manifest something so specific, and then in the blink of an eye, have it encased in gold like a high-priced jeweler would have done in a couple of hours? He later had the gold tested, and it was of exceptional purity. He set about to find someone who knew something about the double Rudraksha, but no one had one or had ever actually seen one in person. They were extremely rare. He finally found one for sale in a shop that was very poor shape, and the guy wanted as much as $200 U.S. for it. That's how rare and valuable these things were. What does this video example show and what does it mean? This is a wonderful story because if it were a trick, how could he generate and manifest something so specific on demand that was so hard to find, much less encase it in gold in seconds right in front of witnesses? There are countless stories of this man manifesting foods from his hands and trinkets 
just to give them away to the crowds that surround him. Okay, let's look at this illustration here. The illustration has got a picture of a rock and a bar of gold. And it says, same basic energy. So you have the same core energy that everything in the universe is made of. Everything is made from the same energy in the universe. The only thing that differentiates one thing from another thing is the meaning. It is meaning that creates frequency that creates an object. So here we got the same basic energy with one meaning is a rock. The same basic energy with another meaning is a gold bar or bar of gold. Different meaning equals different results. Everything in the universe is made of the same basic energy. The only difference between a rock and a bar of gold is the meaning that defines them. Okay. Meaning creates frequency which forms the energy. You change the meaning, you change the frequency, and it then forms something different from the same energy. The universe is a magical creation of its own, and we do magic every day as we manifest our own reality. The only difference between us and Sai Baba is that he uses his God power to assign meanings that create frequencies which manifest and form energy into objects at will. He knows that he can do it, and we don't. At least, we don't yet. Those stories are true in that they have been witnessed by hundreds of people. However, what is true and what is not is only a matter of what you believe and is a part of your reality and what you do not and is not a part of your reality. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 12, Segment Number 4. Let your quest for knowing continue.